El Ma'arij, the ways of ascent. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. A solicitor solicited the punishment which is bound to befall. Let him know there will be none to ward it off from the disbelievers. It shall come from Allah, the master of the ways of ascent, which even enable a person to rise higher and higher, so why not solicit his grace? The angels and the spirit of the faithful ascended to him in a day the measure of which is equal to fifty thousand years. So while waiting, patiently persevere, an admirable and graceful persevering. They think it, the day of judgment, to be far off, but we know it to be near at hand. The day it befalls, the heaven shall become red like molten copper, and the mountain shall become like flakes of multicolored wool. No warm friend will inquire after a warm friend though they will be placed in sight of one another. The guilty person would wish to redeem himself from the punishment of that day, even by offering his children as ransom. The guilty will gladly sacrifice his wife and his brother to redeem himself, and even his kinsfolk who gave him shelter in time of distress. And by offering all that is on the earth put together, thinking if only thus he might deliver himself from the punishment. By no means, he can never be redeemed. Surely it, the punishment you are warned against, is a blazing fire, stripping off the skin even to the extremities of the human body. It will claim the person for consumption who drew back from accepting the truth and turned away, refusing to obey. It will claim him who amassed wealth and withheld it. Verily, such a person is impatient and miserly by nature. He loses heart and becomes fretful when evil afflicts him, but is niggardly when good falls to his lot. Different, however, is the case of those devoted to prayers. Those persons who remain constant and steadfast in their prayers and those in whose wealth there is a recognized right, a fixed share set apart for one who asks for help, and also for one who is prevented even from asking for one reason or the other. Different also is the case of those who accepted the truth of the day of requital, and those who are fearful of the punishment from their Lord. The fact is that the punishment of their Lord is not a thing to be felt secure from. Different as well is the case of those who guard their private parts by restraining their passions. Accept from their free wives, or those wives of theirs whom their right hands own, for which they are not to blame. But it is those who seek to satisfy their lust in any other way, excepting that of marriage, that are the transgressors. And different also is the case of those persons who are watchful of their trust and their covenants, and those who are upright in their evidences and bear true testimony, and those persons who are strict in the observance of their prayers. All these mentioned shall be dwelling in gardens, honored and treated generously. What is wrong with those who disbelieve, that they come running headlong towards you? from the right hand and from the left, from all directions, in various parties. Does each and every one of them covet to be admitted to the garden of bliss? No, never shall they enter it. We have created them for that substantial purpose, the worth of which they know to discharge their obligations to God and people and to themselves. But nay, I call to witness the Lord of the East and the West. We are certainly powerful to change them into better beings than they are and that we can never be frustrated in our purpose. Therefore, leave them alone to indulge in unimportant conversation 
and to amuse themselves in idle pursuits until they meet that day of theirs that they are warned of. The day when they have risen to life will come out hastily from their graves as though they were racing to a target which they must meet. Their eyes will be downcast and shameful. Humiliation will be overwhelming them. Such shall be the punishment of the day with which they are being threatened. 